So I'm still loving having an electric scooter and I want to be using it more and more once we get out of lockdown. But sometimes when you're putting it in the car or as I'm recently getting a camper, I want to be able to put it inside there. When the wheels are all dirty and things, you just don't want to do that. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing an e-scooter bag to let you know if it's any good and if it's worth you buying one. Stay tuned and we'll give you more information. Okay, so this is it. This is the bag that we're going to be looking at. It's the, the Mankey, I think that's how you say it, the Mankey Lab e-scooter bag. So I kind of feel like this is a on the premium end of the range of e-scooter bags. So it's around £35 at the time of doing this video. I'll put a link in the description if you want to decide to pick one of these up. It's using the 1680D Oxford cloth, so it's tear resistant and should be kind of extremely durable so it's going to last you hopefully a long time it's going to deal with obviously having the e-scooter in and out of it as well weighs about uh, 700 grams so a good weight to it but not super heavy and i'll show you obviously opening it up and then folding it back up again you can see i literally just got it out of the bag this is kind of how it comes i put up uh, some information on the screen at the moment with the e-scooters it's most compatible with. So to give you a good idea, if you've got that e-scooter or you're thinking about buying one, whether this bag is gonna be one that you should consider picking up. It doesn't have any wheels on the bag. So it's not something that you're gonna kind of drag around an airport or wherever it is you wanna take your e-scooter. It is literally a bag with a carry strap, but obviously heavy duty and um, gonna keep you clean, your clothes clean, and obviously wherever you're putting this uh, for transport clean as well. So we'll have a look at some of the key features as we open it and obviously then we'll pop the scooter in. I have a, a Xiaomi uh, M1 e-scooter that we're put in here to show you kind of how it all fits together. But like I said, it feels like it's good quality. You can see there's a little handle at the bottom of this here, but we're slowly opening it up. So as we fold it out, get an idea for the size there. So it's 115 centimeters long, so just over a meter. It's around 45 to 50 centimeters. I can't exactly remember, I put the dimensions up in terms um, of the height here. And in terms of the opening, I think it's about 20 centimeters. Again, I'll put the full dimensions down below. So you can see there's a really long zip here that runs all the way along the side along the top, all the way down and round to the other side. So it's full opening, so that's uh, really good. There is a nice padded handle just on the top here, which has a Velcro separation. So you can see that just like that. These little clips that are hanging around here, this is so that when you basically put the bag away, you fold it and wrap it back up onto itself so it doesn't take up too much room whilst it's being stored. The strap is also slightly adjustable on either end, um, so you can kind of adjust it. It doesn't clip on and off the, the I guess the shoulder strap is always 100% connected. If we look at the zipper, it's not a branded zip, so it's not XYKK or whatever it is, the common kind of well-regarded strong zip, but it does look very thick and durable and the stitching seems pretty good on the seams. The zippers have these additional kind of pull cords with a little red kind of finger grip around it so it feels nice and comfortable and makes it easy to open and close. So we open up the whole thing in here just like this and have a little look inside. So inside is a it feels like a, a somewhat water resistant kind of covering which seems to work really well um it's like a nylon kind of material in there i don't recommend obviously putting this in the washing machine or anything just dry it with a damp cloth and clean it with a damp cloth so i'd recommend just a damp microfiber cloth let's have a little look around the inside as mentioned the stitching looks really good there is uh an attachment strap so that you can then kind of a seat belt for your scooter when it's in there and just 
at the top of the bag is a kind of little plasticky pocket with a Velcro top piece so you could put your charger or any other accessories and stuff that you might want in there. So what we do now is we get down on the floor, put my scooter in and the charging cable and show you what that looks like as we put it all back together and then kind of pick it up and see what it feels like to carry. E-scooters are pretty heavy because so you've got hopefully a reasonably sized battery in there so we'll see what it feels like on the shoulder. Okay so here we are down on the floor so hopefully you can kind of get this in uh, in perspective I guess. Uh, the dog may pay us a visit and obviously look, the lighting is not great because I'm down here on the floor but uh, I have the bag here and we have my e-scooter over here so I'm just going to basically shift this up into the middle, plop this down and uh, in theory we should just be able to pick things up and yeah it all comes together so I may adjust the uh, camera to make sure that you can focus on the most important thing about how this goes in and zips up and uh, yeah then we'll move the camera angle back up whilst I pick it up and pop it on the shoulder. Okay, so I have the stand down, which we may have to move. I'll just position that forwards a little bit. I'm going to leave the stand down for now. So then from here, just this strap, probably go all the way over the handlebar and down into here. Okay, so that strap clips goes in there. Let's see if we can adjust this to make it a bit tighter. Okay. Okay, so that's strapped in. Again, not too firmly, but enough that it's gonna hopefully make things firm enough. And then we'll zip up the outer bag and uh, yeah, see what it's like when we try and pick it up. We've obviously got the zippers on either end, so I'm going to start at the, the non-handlebar end, just around here. And then just up around the handlebars. Because it's the handlebars where things will be a little bit trickier. So there we go. Things are all bagged up and uh, now it's just to pick it up and see how that feels. Okay, so the scooter is in the bag, the charging cable is in the bag. So we have these little side handles that also you can pick up with a little bit. But the main thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is put these um, straps together so it's not painful on your shoulders. So I'll throw that back up again. And let's just see how this feels. So it definitely makes things less awkward to carry. I don't think you're gonna take this bag with you if you kind of scoot down to the supermarket or something and then put your scooter in there and carry it around. You definitely could. I think it is more if you're gonna be traveling on the train or again, putting this in a car or somewhere that you don't want things to get dirty, like I said, yourself, um, all the area you're putting in. But one thing I think is always gonna be awkward about these scooters, obviously, the handles stick out. So this is the only bit that to me feels a little bit cumbersome. The rest of it is really good and kind of sleek and fits together quite nicely. But yeah, I think that it feels durable and it's something that, you know, I'm gonna be happy with. So I'm gonna pop the scooter out of this now and then show you how they recommend you fold this back up for storage and then kind of give you my conclusionary thoughts. Okay, so we're taking the scooter out of the bag and now we wanna fold it up for storage. So I'm gonna take you through the steps that they recommend. So basically, you fold one side into the middle here, just like that. Fold the other side into the middle as well. 
And this one I roll it up a bit like you would if you're trying to roll up a sleeping bag. Just get that nice and that. You can see the, the logo on the front here. And these two straps that we had hanging around here, we're basically just going to wrap those around. One of them then clips into here. And the other one clips into the other side. And that's it. A nice scooter bag that doesn't take up much space when you're not using it to move your scooter around. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Yeah, I think this is a good case. As I mentioned, it's 35 pounds, but you're protecting something that costs you at least 200 pounds, probably 400 pounds or more. So I think it's worth investing the money. Again, exterior stitching quality, I think is really good. Materials inside as well, look like they're gonna be durable and resistant. And I think hopefully it's gonna last you a decent amount of time. Obviously, like all things, take care of it and it should take care of itself. But yeah, I would recommend grabbing one of these bags if you've got £35 to spend and you are planning to have to transport your e-scooter and you don't want to get things dirty. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up and like it. It would really help me and the channel out and I appreciate it. Leave comments down below if you have any questions or thoughts on this product. Also consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon to find out about more related geeky type videos here on Spectrum Geeks. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.